Knowing your keyboard shortcuts will save you lots of time when digitizing. There is a list of them in the manual, which you can find under the help menu in the user manual link. Go to the navigation page in the view menu and look for quick reference guide in the list. Then look for keyboard shortcuts. I suggest that you print the two pages and learn a couple of shortcuts each day. Many are common to other Windows based software, but some are peculiar to Embroidery Studio. If your PDF reader does not display a navigation page, you may be able to find the pages using the keyboard shortcut Control F. But better still, download Adobe's free Acrobat Reader, which does display a navigation pane. So, some of my favourite shortcuts are H to reshape an object. Even the most professional digitizers will need to reshape objects or kern lettering. The backspace key to undo the last click when creating an object. The spacebar to change from a left node to a right node when editing a shape. M to measure a distance. and J to manually apply closest join. D to hide bitmaps. Shift D to hide vector images. K and Shift K to lock and unlock images or objects. B to activate the magnifying glass to zoom to a particular part of the design. T to toggle true view, S to show or hide stitches, L to show or hide vector lines, and the full stop or period key to display stitch points. Each of the digitizing tools have a shortcut. F2 for complex turning, F3 complex fill, F4 column A. I hope you can see the benefit in learning the shortcuts and follow my recommendation to learn a couple a day. Thank you for watching.